Hello and welcome to the Banker's Tech Talk video series. I'm Joy McKnight, Deputy and Technology Editor at The Banker. And I'm joined by Simon Davies, General Manager UK at eBanks, a global fintech company headquartered in Brazil. Simon, thanks very much for joining us today. Thank you, Joy. So what are the sort of cross-border payment pain points for um, people operating, e-commerce operating in uh, Latin America? Well, um, for somebody, you know, just to give you a brief description about Latin America. So Latin America, almost 700 million people. Um, very much a population that is, um, for example, over the past 10 years, 70 million women have entered the workspace. Um, the average period spent in education over the past 10 years has moved from five years to eight years. So people are becoming more educated. All of which means that there's a growing middle class. So in Brazil, the, growth, the middle class over the past 10 years has grown by approximately 40%. In um, Colombia, 50% after years of internal conflict, things are calming down there, so there's a lot of growth. As a result of which, there are people there with disposable income who are seeking choice. They're seeking choice in the way in which they make their purchases. Um, and they're accessing international e-commerce sites and they want to make payments. Um, the problems that they have are finding, well, firstly, access. We provide access. Secondly, um, providing fair fees and fair rates. We like to think that we provide that. We provide an exceptional user experience. We provide local language um, uh, customer helplines, for example, so that they can resolve their problems. And in that way, we're, we're, we're providing that bridge between the international e-commerce community and Latin Americans who have disposable income and are seeking choice in how they spend their money. Okay, because there's a lot of local sort of payment methods. You know, how are you enabling that to be used in cross-border payments? Well, that's interesting um, because there are, there are there are many many different ways of making payments, and of course you're also dealing with currencies that aren't naturally acceptable to a lot of international merchants as well. So what we provide is local payment methods. We provide over a hundred local payment methods spread around Mexico and um, Brazil, um, different ways in which clients can make their payments, make their purchases. Um, and again, it's techie. Um, it's, you know, there's an app that you can utilize on the web page. And of course, it's easy to use. And we like to think that we provide good fare rates and um, sensible fees. Okay. And the startup uh, environment in Latin America is changing. Uh, how is it being more supportive in terms of the startup community? Well, it's a really vibrant place. Um, firstly, you know, living here in the UK, but also having lived in Brazil, young people, they're used to a lot of disruption, they're flexible, and they're keen to embrace new technology. So already you're sort of in a place where um, people are looking for um, some innovation and cre creativity. Uh, in addition to that, the situation in Brazil, for example, is that back in the early 1990s, there was a period of consolidation of the banking network as they sought to strengthen the banking network, get rid of a lot of old banks, um, a lot of underfunded banks. And consequently, this process of consolidation has left four or five banks in a fairly commanding position in a country with a population of 200 million. So they need you know, they're lacking choice. Mm. And we're there, um, and, and others, not only us, are there in order to provide uh, that choice. But there's also a change in terms of the regulators. Um, you know, they're starting to embrace sort of open banking, open application programming interfaces to really open up the market to new fintechs. Absolutely. I think um, having worked with the Brazilian regulator in the past, a sensible regulator, but they also appreciate the fact that um, they need to introduce um, elements of competition, elements of creativity and innovation in order to um, provide a, a regulated service. Okay, so that brings me to the last point, which is the fact that eBanks has an e-money license from mm -hmm. the UK regulator, the yep. FCA. Yep. You know, how important is that to your business model? And then uh, what are your expansion plans uh, in the future? It's an interesting one. Um, reasons why we're here. I mean, firstly, London is the centre of the global clearing bank network. Uh, the second thing is that we're here in the middle of a very innovative and creative world, and we're surrounded by a number of companies who are introducing um, new, new products and services. 
The reg tech community here, for example, is something that we've been working very closely with and uh, some exciting developments in that particular community that help us to provide a better service to our clients, a faster service and a more cost effective service to our clients. The third thing is, of course, with the regulator, the FCA here, um, they encourage innovation, possibly more than in, in, in other markets, they encourage innovation. Um, and we are taking advantage of that in terms of um, we're looking at new products that we can uh, develop in order to satisfy our business, uh, business to consumer, our B2C clients. So there's the potential for developing new products as well. Excellent. Thank you so much for your insight, Simon. Thank you, John.